I am now in Revit LT 2022 with the model of the particular building that I wish to export to IFC. In this case, we'll be using Mies van der Rohe's classic Barcelona pavilion as the model for these video series. To export a model to IFC is pretty simple. I just go to File, Export, and select IFC. I'm then asked to define a file path and the name, which I can do so using the Browse button. And I can then select a setup from the drop down list of available setups. There is a predefined list of setups based on specific model view definitions. A model view definition is a subset of the overall IFC schema used to describe a data exchange for a specific use or workflow and identifies the specific data exchange requirements. For example, IFC4 reference view is used for the exchange of BIM data in a single direction where the ownership of the model remains with the author and the models are used for activities such as clash detection, quantity takeoff and background information. It is possible to modify the setup and create project or model specific setup profiles based on the model view definitions defined by IFC. And we'll look at these further settings later in this video series. Once I'm happy with the settings, I simply select export and the model will export to the location specified, like so. I'm now going to open the exported IFC model in DDS CAD Viewer. I'll go to File, Open IFC, and I'll navigate to the file location I've saved the model, in this case, my desktop, select the model, and click Open. I can now see that the model has opened. I will change the view style to render cartoon. I have these two windows open here that I will be using throughout the course of these video series, the properties and the IFC file browser. These can be accessed through the windows menu, toolbars, and then I can select Properties and IFC File Browser. Within the IFC File Browser, under the Spatial Structure Perspective, I can see the hierarchical nature of the IFC file. I have the IFC Header, the IFC Project, IFC Site, IFC Building, and then IFC building story with the applicable elements associated on that building story. Note that a lot of the attributes within the IFC project, IFC site, and IFC building have not been completed or filled out. Revit does not export by default lots of these parameters, so we need to go back into Revit to start specifying this information. Adding this information to a Revit model is not particularly complicated, it's just a matter of either adding specific parameters or using a mapping table to translate Revit parameters to IFC attributes, properties or quantities. In order to correctly assign data to IFC attributes and properties within Revit, I will need to add parameters to this project file and also specific Revit families. I could add these parameters as project parameters and manually type in the correct 
project parameter name. However, the IFC exporter provides two shared parameter files that I can use to add the correct shared parameter with the associated name and data type quickly to my project. These can be found in the install folder path for the IFC exporter and the link to where it is installed by default on my machine is in the description of this video. Note that there are two shared parameter files. One shared parameter file is for instance-based parameters and should be added as instance parameters within Revit. And the other shared parameter is for type-based parameters. If I select the instance-based shared parameter file, note how all the parameters are listed under one IFC properties group. And if I select the type shared parameter file, note that the same parameters are specified in the IFC properties group. However, they are all suffixed with the word type in squared parentheses. I will be adding the relevant parameters from these two shared parameter files as I go through the process.